okay uh, in today's lab lecture uh, we are going to uh, see uh, how to implement an uh, multiplexer uh, in xilinx and also we'll use an uh, multiplexer uh, to implement an uh, full uh, adder okay uh, so we know uh, what an multiplexer is uh, like uh, if you, you have two uh, control signal like this is an uh, no, uh, uh, four to one uh, 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 four uh, inputs and one uh, output multiplier so since there are uh, four inputs two control lines are required uh, s0 and s1 so if you have a zero zero uh, then you will have uh, see you will have you have taken an uh, uh, inverted outputs from here so this and gate will be activated uh, so a0 will be routed towards the output uh, this you might have done it in a digital design right uh, so similarly if it is an uh, uh, zero one this and gate will be uh, activated if i uh, write an uh, uh, one zero this and gate will be activated uh, and the last uh, and gate will be uh, activated if it is one one here so one of the data will get uh, routed towards the uh, output so this program if you see here it has been uh, written uh, as a gate level modeling so you can uh, do that so you have an uh, output uh, and you have an uh, a b uh, c d these are the uh, four uh, inputs and s0 s1 is the uh, control uh, signals uh, then you have an uh, wire uh, in which you need to uh, generate an uh, s0 bar and s0 uh, on a s1 bar also uh, so you have an uh, wire and also you have these uh, temporary uh, lines also out here right so once you uh, then you can write an uh, seeing this figure you can write an uh, gate level modeling program okay uh, so but this is uh, writing in a much efficient way uh, through the uh, data uh, flow modeling uh, here what i have taken is this is an uh, 8 into 1 mux so the uh, input you, you can do this you can uh, try it out yourself but uh, this is a more efficient way of uh, writing it so if you see here an uh, 8 into 1 mux so so the input is an uh, 8 bit data so this is the format for uh, writing an 8 bit right uh, i uh, 70 means the msb will be uh, 7 and the uh, lsb will be uh, at, at 0 so you are taking an uh, input here uh, 8 bit input and also you are taking an, an uh, three boot uh, input s0 s1 so 20 so 2 one, 0 1 and 2 so that is a three bit and so the, this three bits and 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 the msb will be uh, in the uh, 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 at the two position and lsb will be at the zero position so that is the format this is another uh, input and output is an uh, single bit okay uh, that is a uh, y now you can uh, straight away uh, write this program in a single line now y okay is equal to is okay uh, is means okay uh, i is an uh, 7 bit and uh, 8 bit data uh, out of which that data uh, which is uh, defined by s will be rooted to y so if s is equal to uh, 0 i 0 so this becomes i 0 i 0 will be rooted to y that is what is required right for a multiplexer so if s is equal to 1 uh, then the next uh, uh, this this data i 1 will be rooted to y and similarly if s is equal to uh, 7 then this i 7 data will be rooted to y so a max can be written within uh, in the data flow modeling you don't have to get into a gate level modeling if you write if you use an uh, data flow modeling it can be written in a uh, single uh, uh, right in a, in, in a, in a, in a small uh, way only right uh, it could be like in, if it is an on a, on a 16 into an, uh, one max also this just becomes an uh, okay uh, this uh, input number of an, uh, this thing will become uh, 15 out here right and, and and since now there are now four bits will be required so this will become an uh, uh, three zero and this will remain the uh, same again here so if you see if you keep increasing the number of lines also nothing is going to be changed uh, changed here uh, except for the uh, na, uh, the uh, data length of i and s okay so so this is a uh, very very na, uh, short and uh, effective uh, code which can be used for uh, designing any uh, multiplexer okay uh, now if you have to uh, implement an uh, full adder uh, using an a multiplexer uh, what we need to do is uh, see this is an a multiplexer if i put 0 0 0 i'll require a uh, two mux one mux for generating the sum and one for generating the carry so if i put 0 0 here uh, this line will be uh, rooted out uh, so for 0 0 the sum has to be 0 so i will put in uh, 0 at i 0 
and uh, I'll put a one out here because uh, right if it is zero zero one the sum has to be one here so this will be zero this will be one and uh, for uh, zero one zero also this will be uh, 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 one because zero one zero this line will be selected so that has to be sum is one and zero one one sum has to be zero so it will be zero here one here one here and then uh, again a zero here okay because that will generate a carry here right so if I go to this uh, two table here so this will be zero one one uh, zero so this is the true table so in fact this this particular is the uh, 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 data which is to be uh, given right and uh, okay th this is the uh, uh, lsb and this is the msb right this is the uh, this is i7 this is i0 so this data needs to be fed into the uh, multiplexer here right this data this this particular data this is uh, this will be the L msb this will be the lsb so if this data is to be uh, fed into the uh, so i have an uh, full adder here module uh, input abc and output is sum and carry uh, so i have an uh, uh, two wires okay uh, these are the two wires uh, within the uh, module that they are not the input so these wires okay uh, which is one is s and which is uh, c okay two variables i have uh, s i have uh, defined as this right uh, for here 1001 zero, zero, one okay uh, 1001 zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. so this this particular series i have uh, uh, assigned s and then i am using the mux here now uh, s uh, a b c uh, and then an uh, sum right so uh, what is s now if you see in the uh, in the uh, uh, module like when we uh, discussed this in the uh, previous lab uh, this is the mux module which we have already uh, designed so the first is uh, input 7 bit input right so first we have to give this 7 bit uh, uh, input so we are giving that as s right so the, because this is what is the seven boot uh, uh, input so we are writing s out here and then the next one is the uh, control uh, here it is an uh, three bit an uh, information which is to be given here uh, okay so here we had taken it as an a uh, single word with three bit so now uh, here but in this full adder we are taking abc as separate and so that's why in the flower bracket we are writing abc so this will be this entire uh, three bits will be taken as an, a single three bit data corresponding to the uh, control signal required for the max and the output is a single bit so that that comes out as uh, sum out here right uh, similarly uh, i am defining uh, one more variable uh, here uh, c this wire c i am assigning at uh, 8 bit 1101 so that comes from this carry table right so 1110 1000 so um, this is the msb and this is the lsb you have to write it in this order so this is written out here again i am using the same mux module so i am okay now but i have to give here i am giving it as m1 and m2 because these are uh, two different the module is same but two i am implement, uh, using two different mux so i need to give two different names here uh, this is now uh, c so this is the uh, input again this order we have to follow the same uh, order input and output uh, one input is the uh, input which is coming to the mux then the control signal and then the output so we have to follow the same order here so this is the input signal which is given here uh, this is the control abc and this is the output uh, carry okay uh, so this is how we can implement a uh, full adder so uh, let me uh, uh, demonstrate this to you right so i am uh, creating a uh, folder lab 6 Now a uh, new source, uh, very log module. Now uh, let me first make the uh, mux. So um, let me 
copy paste the mux out here okay so uh, this I'm making the uh, mux module I can uh, uh, do an uh, behavioral check right it, it's working fine so if I want to uh, test I can uh, do that uh, uh, so uh, I can uh, this is the uh, input signal so uh, let me uh, force constant okay uh, binary let me uh, give the uh, first uh, four as one the next four as uh, zero out here and uh, uh, control signal uh, the control signal so this will uh, decide what has to come out right so uh, let me uh, put it as uh, zero zero uh, zero okay so so zero has to come in the out right okay because uh, i have selected an uh, zero so let me uh, run this so uh, you you will find the output is a zero because i have selected this uh, zero out here right so that is why uh, the first bit zero 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 is control it will take uh, this zero here now uh, let me uh, do uh, again let me uh, force constant and uh, uh, let me take an, uh, one 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 okay and then i run it again now if you see here the output is one because now this one is being uh, routed towards the uh, output so my uh, max is uh, uh, working fine so let me uh, close this now uh, let me uh, write a uh, new source so very log module let me write full adder now i'm making a uh, full adder out here where i'm going to Now I have uh, used the, this mux which I had earlier made uh, in this uh, full adder. Okay. Now I first uh, do an okay. That's working fine. So let me uh, make an an uh, t a test at source. Okay. No, sorry. New source. Very log uh, test fixer. test full adder Next. so uh, created an uh, for test for full adder so let me uh, put all the uh, conditions out here let me uh, modify this and put all the con test conditions right so uh, first I am taking 0, 0, 0 then I am waiting for 10 nano then 1 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0. so all the eight conditions I have uh, written out here so okay so there is no syntax error so let me uh, run now So if you see here, uh, it is uh, zero 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 here. So the uh, sum and carry is also zero here. Then zero zero one here, sum has gone one, carry is zero. So zero one zero, sum is one, carry is zero. Uh, one one zero, you will find sum is zero, carry is one. Uh, and then I have a one zero zero, sum is zero, carry is zero. Then I have an, uh, a one zero one, uh, carry is one, sum is zero. Then no. Uh, uh, 110 sum is 0 carry is 1 and 111 both sum and carry so you will find uh, this is working fine so uh, th this way uh, what we have learned today is uh, how to design a mux and using a mux uh, how to make it 
uh, full adder okay uh, so this is uh, that's all uh, for today in the next class uh, we will see uh, some more uh, app in the lab class we'll see uh, how to uh, make uh, uh, some more applications of the mux and uh, decoders okay uh, thanks a lot for today